Hey everyone on uh, Facebook, uh, Aaron White's up with Penguin Air Plum News Trapper. Sorry about that. I didn't know I was live streaming. I thought that was over. So I just pulled my comments up on my uh, my f my phone here. I only got about 30 percent left, so I don't know how long I'll have to be able to chat with you guys. But uh, yeah, we're south of the town of Mayer over Cordes, I believe. Um, just uh, probably about 10 miles north of Sunset Point. If you guys are familiar, Sunset Point north of Black Canyon City. So this is all water that uh, that came from a few miles north and. The, Kind of up where the uh, the fire was a few weeks a few weeks ago, and uh, this is I think they call it the uh, the headwater or the lead water or something like that. This is the very leading edge of the uh, the flash flood, and you can see all that debris and there's tires and logs and all sorts of junk down in there. And that's why it's so dangerous when you get caught in this water, is uh, you may get pinned or you can even be uh, you know. Um, I guess pierced by the debris. I'm trying to think of a way to say that. Uh, this debris is very sharp. All those logs and wood and trees and everything in there, very dangerous. Very dangerous. I wouldn't want to be trying to swim in that. And then just look at the sheer ferocity of it. Just the uh, the velocity and speed. Very very dangerous. So we're up in the uh, Penguin Air Plum and News Chopper. Uh, we got sent up for uh, flood evacuations near the town of Mayer. And uh, as we were coming back down towards Phoenix, we picked up this headwater here coming down and uh, just kind of following it down. I'll kind of, let me zoom out a little bit, show you where we are. So this is kind of tracking from north to south over, uh, I believe this is Cordes right now. I apologize if I'm getting my towns wrong. I'm not super familiar with the geography up there, but this is the, we believe, this is kind of hard to tell. This is Cordes Lakes. So. That's kind of where the, the water started. That's the remnants of whatever cell was left up near Mayer. And that's what dumped all the water. And it's uh, just finally working its way down here, um, coming up through Cortez Lakes. So I haven't seen any, a whole lot of buildings damaged yet. Up a little bit farther north, at just the northern edge, there was a, uh, a major road that was kind of shut off, um, blocking the two sides of the town. And uh, maybe some like, a, it looked like a horse trailer had kind of been, uh, not really swept away, but it kind of gotten knocked off of its place. And pretty uh, fascinating. I, it's only probably the third time I think I've ever gotten to see the uh, the headwater on a flash flood. It's pretty awe-inspiring. But also, you got to keep in mind that's why you don't want to try driving through that. We're trying to see ahead of us if there's any, uh, you know, other overpass or uh, roads that anyone's going over. And I do apologize, I lost my Facebook stream uh, up here. So I'm going to try to talk through this a little bit more. I'm not ignoring anyone if I don't get to your comments. So I'll try to talk through this the best I can here. So we've been up in the air here for about uh, about an, a little over an hour now. We started up in uh, the town of Mayer coming up here for sort of flood evacuations. Um, they had the large forest fire there a couple of weeks ago. And so you, don't, you get all that runoff that just comes down the side of the mountain. And there's nothing to stop it, no vegetation. And it just kind of funnels down through all the canyons. And... Uh, all those canyons finally came together into one, and uh, this is the result that you see, uh, this lead head water coming up right here, and uh, it looks like some people up here coming to see the show as well. Don't have quite as good of a vantage point as we do, but uh, that's what you get when you have a $400,000 camera system, I guess. So there it is. That guy in that white shirt can't tell how close he is, but he better not take it too close. Wow. Very, very stupid to do that, sorry. You don't want to get swept away in that. We unfortunately just covered a, last week the, uh, the funeral of the, not, uh, the 10 family members that died up in Payson. It's very tragic. I would hate to see that happen to anyone again, have to go through that pain. So far, I haven't seen any houses uh, 